Hello friends, welcome to BHP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to perform user creation operation in Oracle Fusion WMS Cloud. In our last session, we have already covered the overview of Oracle Warehouse Management Cloud. In that, we have already seen the multiple cases for third-party logistics, the overview of facility configuration, company configuration. So in today's session, we are going to create the user in WMS Cloud. So let's move on to the instance. So this is the instance of WMS and this is the homepage of WMS instance. So in order to create user, we have to search user in search bar. So insert users, click on the users and we have the option create icon. You can see over here, click on that, create and we have some fields over here. So on the top of this form, we have the active option. You can active disactive this user. And the next one is login. So we have to insert the login ID for this user. So I'm going to insert test user, right? We have to insert the first name, this mandatory field, this test, also the username, right? And we have to insert the password for this user. So I'm going to insert the required password for this user. Uh, this is the password life in days. So I'm going to insert 30. So after 30 days, this password get expired and let's enter the ID for this user. So test 30, let's enter the email ID. And we have the type, we have the two type. One is internal and second one is external. An internal user is a person inside, or you can say who is the part of the organization structure that has to run the operation of the organization and uses the company financial information to make the decision, right? The external user, the external user is the user of the system who is not the part of the organization structure, they can access the application over the web and have some restriction to access the system. Right. So right now we are going with the internal and we can define the higher date for this user. So I'm going to insert today's date and you can define the wages hourly basis and we have the facility code. Facility is just a uh, distribution center, right? So let's select the distribution center and the company for this user. And in our upcoming session, we will see how to create the facility code for the user and how to create the company for this user, right? And we have already mapped the shift for this facility for, for this uh, facility code. So I'm going with the default. And we have the roles. So we have the administrator role, management, supervisor, guard, and employee. So different, different roles have the different, different permission, right? So let's take an example, administrator. So administrator have some permission, like he can add the company, he can delete the company, he can create the facility, delete the facility, he can, you, he can add the user he can delete and can change the information of the user. So these are the permission we can already define for the administrator role. In the same way, we can permit the permission for the management role. Management user can create the user. You can add the user. He can add the facility, change the facility. He can delete the facility, right? And some more, in, some more permission for the management role. In the same way, we have the supervisor role and guard role. 
so guard role and the employee role can only access the information he cannot edit he cannot create copy and delete the user right so the information is read only information for the guard in guard role and the employee role right so i am selecting the administrator role for this user so that he can create the user he can delete the user he can create the facility company all the things for the administrator right and we can select the languages right so i am going to select the language we have the different different language you can select as per your requirement and we have the default group so in our upcoming session we will see how to create the groups so that you can select our groups for the user right so i am selecting the admin for this user you can select the label printer for this user and uh, you can set the rows per page so i am going default information and you can check this check box for change the password on the login right and you can set the screen dashboard and all the information like the date format time format right and you can set the image for this user right so we have defined some basic information for this user so that we can create the user so let's click on this save icon so you can see that test user gets created right you can click on that and can you can add it the information like that you can edit it right so let's log in with this new user so we have to log out from the current user so we have to insert the username this test user insert the password and let's sign in so in our user creation we have already check a check box so that we can change the password while create while logging the user so let's enter the password Insert the new password. Hit OK. The password successfully changed. Okay. Let's log in with the new password. So you can see over here, I'm successfully logged in into the user. This is our test user. And apart from that, we have some options so that you can change the user language and we can view uh, the groups. We have select our groups and uh, we can change the password. Let's click on that. So we have the window so that you can change the password, right? and in the same way we have the option to change the facility and the company right we have the different company you can change it over here right and we have the menu bar so in the menu bar we have the different different tasks so that we can perform all the tasks under this user like we can perform the inventory tasks receiving tasks right and we have more us over here we will see in our recommend session right. so this is how you can create a user in wms cloud in oracle fusion so thanks for watching this video thank you so much